Hi, today we're going to be working on the issue of um, uh, you cannot log into your profile because it's corrupted. So a message will pop up, uh, for example, like this one. You have been logged on with a temporary profile. You cannot access your files, and files created in this profile will be deleted when you log off. To fix this, log off and try logging on later. Please see the event log for details or contact your system administrator. Okay, um, when this happens, as you can see, all your uh, personal settings have uh, disappeared, all your files have disappeared. And uh, you might also get a message, for example, before the desktop loads, something like uh, the user profile service failed the logon. Okay, if you see that message and not your desktop, you'll have to restart your Windows in safe mode. Okay, so you restart and before the Windows logs on, boots up, you'll have you tap the F8 key and then select safe mode. Once you're in safe mode and you'll get to this part, exactly the same place where we are now, you will then, uh, I'm going to show you uh, two ways to sort this out. Okay, so the first way is a registry fix. Um, open up your registry editor. So it's your Windows button together with the R. Brings up your run console and type reg edit and OK. OK, so now we're going to navigate to this path. You're going to click on HKey local machine and then software. And then you're going to expand Microsoft. And then Windows NT, current version, profile list. Okay, so here you will find two profiles with the exact same um, name, except one has got an extension .bak. All right, so um, the the one without the BAK is the profile that we're using right now, and the one with the BAK is your profile that uh, you can't get into. So basically what we want to do, we just want to swap the names around. Okay, so uh, right-click the first one, rename dot BA. Right-click the second one rename delete the dot bak right click the first one again rename and just add the k all right select the folder without the dot back extension and i want you to double click on the rev count rev count make sure that's on zero okay and double click the state key as well and make sure that's also on zero okay and you will um, you, now you can uh, just uh, log off and log on again Okay, so uh, as you can see here, um, the profile is back to normal just by changing uh, those uh, registry names around. Um, if that doesn't work, um, the other way would be to create a new user. Okay, so um, control panel, come down to user accounts. Uh, then you would click a uh, manage another account create new account give it a name user 2 and make sure that you give the new account administrator privilege 
and then click create account okay let's just uh, log off here Okay, so if the registry fix didn't fix this uh, profile user, uh, this is what I would do, okay? I would create the second account with administrative privileges, user 2 in this case. Okay, so we, we log into the, the new user. And basically what you want to do is Go to computer, your C drive, and in the users folder, you will find the user and the user2. So if you click on the original account, which was user, you can copy all the content you have in these folders, okay? And uh, you can just move it over across to the new user account which is user 2 okay rewrite all those folders and uh, once you've made sure that all the uh, information is moved across and you haven't lost anything um, you can remove the uh, the original account uh, just be aware for example uh, your email um, accounts and your contacts are kept in a hidden folder but basically those are the two ways to get around this problem Thanks for watching and remember there's always a fix.